You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And I appreciate you guys for trusting the process. Make sure you like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. Now let's get to the content. So today, we got no other than Rick Ross and his baby mother, Tia Kemp. So after Father's Day, Rick Ross announced that that was the weekend of his last child support payment to Tia Kemp. And you knew she wasn't having it. So she decided to go on social media and drag Rick Ross. So they've been going back and forth, sending subliminal messages toward each other. But this time, Tia Kemp, she goes on a rant and she talks about him having a secret relationship with D-Wade, DJ Khaled, and also Diddy. Now you guys know that Tia Kemp, she has a potty mouth and once she gets going, she won't stop. And right now, she's having a little success in the entertainment world. She even has her own spinoff TV show with Carlissa, Blueface Mother. And she says that Rick Ross was always trying to hold her back. And he never wanted her to come to the limelight and ever make nothing of herself. Now, let's get into what she had to say about Rick Ross. Then I'll be back with some more commentary at the end. Boy, she can't grow she jiggy. Boy, you sitting over there with Wade doing them interviews and shit on the podcast. Wade had the she cut us up his ass. I say this got to be out his mind if he think I'm fit to believe he ain't play around with this. But then come leave the motherfucker man podcast and party and interview and come home and lay down in the bed with me and talk about it like a dog. What the type of shit is that? No, bitch, you try baby thank your dog. You just would have did that for a check. No, you didn't. You did favor for favor. That's Boy, shit. I know how this industry shit go. I've been laying back people shit and I did I was really like naive to shit. I just was a bitch that wouldn't stun shit. I ain't give a f one paying attention, but nah. Girl, all this shit adding the fuck up. Cassie, you started some shit, Cat Williams. I thank you, dog. I'm gonna carry this bitch on, dog, but somebody gonna have to take the torch for me. I can't take this shit though, my man. I can't. I think I'd have carried it on since you did uh Cat Williams went over there to Shay Shay. But uh, it's a lot of shit going on, and I know this dog ain't with a lot of his old uh, 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 rainbow coalition ass boys he used to be with and shit since that shit came out. He scares now, nah, ain't he? <laughs> you scares now, nah, big bat? Don't be scares now. Nah. That's why you done gained all that weight back. You stressed. You stressed, huh? Oh, so he be taking it like you from the back? Yeah, I heard. Unless a little asleep. I love y'all so lately. But shit, I, it's obvious, bitch. Them the kind of friends you was flocking around with, birds of a feather flock together. So guess what? Wade done been coming out with all these colors and highlights and hair on his head, polish and shit, choke ass chains. I ain't seen Gabrielle around him in some months. I know they ain't with each other no more. Something going on. He coming out the closet. He living through his son. And then you was over there doing a lot of shit with him at one point. Same as with Diddy. All this shit coming out by Diddy and his little boyfriends and shit like that. Boy, you was over there potting, dotting with him a lot and bragging on him and dacking and dapping him up and hugging him, bugging him and sitting on his lap. A lot of that shit dash around holding up surprise bottles and videos and shit on boats and yachts and shit, planes and dames, music videos and shows and shit. I seen it. We all seen it. So where the are y'all at now? That's all I'm trying to mother say. Bitch, you don't just dip on boats like that. Don't, don't get scared. Get, get Be part of it. <laughs> on your shit. That's all I'm saying. Shit. Because, bitch, if I was over there and I was running them up, I'd be saying all the way out the gate. Hey, man, I don't know what they had going over there, but I ain't had shit. That ain't none of my business, but I ain't got shit to do with that. I'd have been cleared my face, boy. For real, for real. You ain't cleared your face yet, so I'm in belief. I, 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 listen, I ain't in disbelief no more, bitch. I'm, I'm believing. I'm a believer. You're maybe a f***ing believer. A believer. Got me f***ed up. You gonna keep my name out your mouth, bitch, because I'm gonna stay on your f***ing neck till I crack that bitch and cook me some neck bones out like that big hefty fat f***ing pig neck of yours. 
That boy neck of yours, bitch. Every day yours too. I want your neck too, ho. Yeah, yours bigger than his, bitch. You bigger than that. That horse bigger than her brother. Y'all didn't know that? You don't dare try to talk about me when you got a sister built up like that, like a mother oak tree. <laughs> If your sister built up like an oak tree, don't you dare ever come from your baby mama that's beautiful and fine as wine, bitch. You got some f***ed up. I made y'all look good. She gave you some bitch for life. You can brag on. So you guys heard what Tia Kemp had to say. You can kind of tell she's a little upset because now Rick Ross, he doesn't have to pay any money left. But now she is a funny character and I do believe her and Carlissa TV show it's going to do numbers because everybody's going to be checking in just to see what she has to say about Rick Ross and what's the latest jokes that she come up with about Rick Ross. Now, I need you guys to drop it in the comment section and let me know. Do you believe that she's pissed or do you think she's just speaking her truth? But until next time, let me get the hell up out of here with my little channel.